Alrighty guys, it's Amit and welcome back to Dev Dreamer. Now in this lesson then, I want to take a look at the span tag and the comment tag in HTML. So first of all then let's just get rid of this, this was from our, our previous lesson. Now before we go on, I very quickly just on a quick side note, I want to talk to you about um, brackets and the different extensions you can download for it. So you may have seen me in the previous video do something like this, when we put a paragraph element in I just did P and then I hit the tab button on my keyboard and actually filled in the opening closing tag for us. And the way that I'm doing that is by a uh, plugin, and that plugin is called Emmet up here. Now, to download different plugins and uh, extensions for brackets, you simply go File, and then come down to Extension Manager. And then from here, you can actually download and you can search for uh, different sort of plugins and, and extensions you can get for, for brackets. So the Emmet one is here, and you just click on Install. And as you can see, I've got it installed. Um, and so yeah, that was just a quick side note, that's why I'm able to sort of do uh, things, stuff like this, H1, hit tab, and just make things a lot, a lot quicker. So, let's now crack on. So, the first thing we're going to look at is the span tag. Now, if you watched the previous video, you'll know that the span tag is an inline element. And what that basically means is that it only takes up the amount of space it needs, and it starts on the same line. So let's say we had a paragraph element in here, and we'll put some dummy text in, okay? Now let's say we wanted to actually um, change the colour of this text to uh, blue. Well, we can go into our style sheet, select the paragraph, curly braces, and just say color blue. Okay, perfect. So it's changed the color of this paragraph text to blue. But what happens if we wanted um, just a particular word to be the color blue? Well, then what we'd do is we'd use the span tag. So let's get rid of this. Okay. And as you can see, it's gone back to, gone back to black. And then all we're going to do is around the actual word we want to change, we can just put span tags around it. So I'll just do span. Um, and I'll just move this into here, okay? And now what we can do in our style sheet is we can select span and we can style just that particular word. So I can say color blue. And as you can see, now rather than the whole thing being styled, it's just that particular word that's been styled. And we've done that using the span tag and we can do some other styles on it as well. So we can just say font size, um, let's just say 20 pixels, okay? As you can see, it's only this word that has been styled and all the other words are the same. Okay, so that's the span tag guys. Now the next one we're going to look at is really, really important, especially if you're sharing your code with the people, you know, if you're collaborating on, um, on a project together, or if you're sort of revisiting your code after a long time, the comment tag is really, really important. So what is it? So the comment tag then essentially enables you to write little comments in your code um, as sort of tips and, and help. And the other good thing about the comment tag is that you can actually use it to temporarily hide things from the browser. But first, let's take a look at how we can actually use the comment tag to insert comments in. So the way that we write the comment tag is, we'll do an open bracket, then we do an exclamation mark, and then we do two hyphens, and then space, and then two more hyphens, and then we close it out, okay? So, open bracket, exclamation mark, two hyphens, space, two more hyphens, and then we close it out. And in between uh, these two hyphens here, we write whatever we want our comment to say. So we can say, uh, this is a comment in HTML. Now notice, this has not been rendered to the browser, and anything within comment tags will not be rendered to the browser. Um, so for example, if I wanted to hide um, these first few words here, I can come into here and I can just do this. Um, and let's just say I want to hide just these two, like so. And now as you can see, those first two words, lorem ipsum, have actually been removed from here because they're being hidden using these comment tags. So that's quite useful, especially when you want to sort of debug, uh, debug your code. The comment tag comes in very, very handy. And of course, the other thing that the comment tag is useful for is for actually writing cleaner and more efficient code. So we can have, um, Let's drop in our image again. Image source um, is this. Okay. And again, let's just select the image here. And we'll just say width 200 pixels. And above here, then, let's just get rid of this comment and let's change this for, let's say, this is the Dev Dreamer logo. Now the comment tag is also useful when sharing your code with other people. So whilst you might know exactly what you've done and where everything goes, it might be a bit confusing for them. And so adding comments in is a great way to actually show them where everything goes. 
So for example, let's just say someone else is working on this project with you um, and it's their job to change the text up to a certain point. Well, we can just do, let's just put some, uh, some dummy text in here again. Uh, let's just copy this a few times. Okay, and let's just say it's their job to change um, this paragraph here. So just at the end of um, this paragraph, we can say, exclamation mark, hyphen, hyphen, space, hyphen, hyphen, close bracket. And in here, we can say, um, I don't know, edit the following, following, or spell, following, two paragraphs. Okay, and so the person, when they come in uh, and take a look at your code, they'll know exactly the two paragraphs that they need to edit, rather than you saying, you know, edit this one or edit that one. So that is the span tag and the comment tag in HTML. Hope you found it useful, guys. Again, please hit me up with a like and a subscribe. It really does help me out. And I'll see you on the next one.